Don't you just hate it when you want to add some hand painting details to your model to give that extra layer of realism, but Blender's 3D viewport image editing just isn't up to the job. So you export your UVs to use your favorite 2D image editing software, only to find you can't get the texture to look just as you want it. I'm going to show you a way to get the best of both worlds. First of all, you need to make sure you have an external image editing app specified in Edit, Preferences, File Paths, Image Editor. Next, you need to set up a material with an image texture as its base image. So I'm going to call mine Details with a width and height of 4096. I'm going to specify the base color to the color that I want as the base, and I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to plug this straight into the base color. Perfect. Now we need to come back to the 3D viewport and change over to texture paint mode. So you need to be in the properties panel and you do this by pressing N and you want to scroll down to options, external and screen grab, which is screen grab size. Change that to the same resolution as your texture. Now, before we click quick edit, what you need to do is just zoom in a little bit on your model and you want to bring this so it fills the width of the viewport. Then hit quick edit. This will load your image into your image editing program. You want to add a brand new layer. And then using whatever grunge brush you want, add some random details all over the place. Don't worry about going over the edges. It doesn't matter. So I'm just adding in some splatters and stains where I think they're going to look good. And then all we need to do is delete the underneath layer and then save this. Come back into Blender and press apply. Now you can see how that's applied that image directly to the model. As you can see, it's positioned it on the UV map exactly where it needs to be. Now all you need to do is rotate the object to where you need it to be and fill in the gaps. You're not limited to just the color either. You can actually do this for roughness. So let me show you. So let's make a new texture. Let's call it roughness. And we're going to make this 4096, 409, 4096 by 4096. Now we need to remember the way that roughness works is so black is completely transparent and white is completely rough. So ideally we need to have sort of a, a good base roughness that we want to say, okay, this is what our roughness is going to look like when it's out of the factory or whatever. Right? So let's just say maybe, maybe this and we have alpha as one. And okay, so this is going to be our base roughness all over. So you can see it's kind of matte, a little bit shiny. So we're going to go through the same process. I'm going to bring the model into the center of the frame. I'm going to zoom in a nice amount. There's probably fine. And I'm going to come across into texture paint. Same process. Just make sure I've got the right image selected. So single image, roughness. UV map linear. Yep, that's all looking fine. And then we will click quick edit. So I'm just going to add another layer. And okay, so I've got a new layer in there. And what I want to do is I want to set my brush to maybe quite a dark. We don't want it a hundred percent, a hundred percent black, but we can we can go with an almost black. And this will just make sure it's not fully smooth when we come to to actually apply this so these edges are likely to be touched more so they'll be a lot smoother so all i'm going to do is trace around this now ideally using my graphics tablet would probably be a better option but i'm not doing that just going to grab some random brushes just make some strange textures see what comes out there we go so these are going to be kind of highlighted areas, I suppose. Um, now let's put some, maybe some rougher parts on there as well. So I'm going to get my, my, uh, my scatter brush, splatter brush, splatter brush. That's what it's called. Um, a little bit bigger, a little bit lighter. I'm just going to pop some of these all over the place. A little bit smaller as well, perhaps. And it's going to, adjust the colors randomly there we go right so get rid of that so we can see what we've got i just need to flatten this image there we go and save it with the transparency come across back to blender and if we apply the image there we go 
So we've got these lovely kind of damage to the surface, which I think looks absolutely marvelous. Now, if you found this helpful, useful, you enjoyed this content, then hit that like and subscribe button. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.